mega week on and off the field, ending at Wembley, beginning at Old Trafford and all sorts in between. We'll start with Man United, but I'm only going to give him 10 seconds. That is it. And then we're drawing a line under it. Go. Bad day at the office. Um, didn't turn up. They were better than us. Our big players didn't perform. Didn't uh, deserve to win. Got what we deserved. Draw a line under it and let's move on to Spurs. Very good. That was nine. Uh, let's move on from Sunday to Monday. News. John Terry. Loads of tributes online and on Chelsea TV this week. Here's a little bit of that. And John Terry has scored his first senior goal for Chelsea. Would you believe it? It's that man again, John Terry. And look who scored it! It's John Terry! The good defending, no surprise, comes from Chelsea's captain. Chelsea's most influential player all time? Oh, right up there, right up there. Um, Chelsea's best ever defender, without any question, I'd say England's best ever defender. Um, he has been magnificent to this football club. He has been an integral part of what's happened. And Captain Lee Legend describes it perfectly. Um, he's going to be missed in so many ways. Listen, we've got a run in between now and the end of the season. We need some leaders. We need real captains. Because things haven't gone so well of late, let's be honest. Um, and now it really gets to a stage where it's more than just what goes on the pitch. What about the characters off the pitch? In the past, we had Czech, we've had JT, we've had Lamps, we've had Didier, Cole to a, to a lesser degree, but important. But, um, John Terry will go down as the most decorated captain this club's ever had. Um, in some people's minds, the greatest player Chelsea have ever had. Definitely the greatest youth product, uh, product we've ever had. And, you know, it, he will be missed. There's no question of that. A regular in the PFA Team of the Year, which is something else that also happened in midweek. Again, if I may just have a moan about this, Aspilicueta overlooked, as he always seems to be, but four Chelsea players were in it. Mm -hmm. Cahill, Louise, Kante, yep. Hazard. Yeah, I, I don't get the Aspilicueta one uh, at all, in all honesty. And, and over the last two or three years, it's been brilliant over the right back or left back. But this season in particular, because it's a different formation change, a different position, never looks out of place, never lets anyone down. And I think he is Chelsea's best defender, so he can consider himself desperately unlucky that he's not in that side. Eden Hazard was, though, and he was uh, part of something a little bit different down at Cobham this week. Joseph Schooling is a name you may not have heard of, but he is Singapore's only ever Olympic gold medalist. He won it in swimming. He beat Michael Phelps. No mean feat, but he's a big Chelsea fan. He got to come to the Palace game, and he went down to Cobham and got the star treatment. John, nice to meet you, sir. No way. <laughs> Olympic champion. Are you okay, my friend? You, we can start my interview. Oh, hello, everyone. Today I'm the journalist. I'm going to ask some questions with this guy. What's the feeling, you know, about to get the first gold medal from Singapore? You know, it, it's a great feeling, for sure. Um, that's always been my lifelong dream as a little kid. And to actually finally achieve that, you know, word, I don't think words can describe that feeling. You beat Michael Phelps, yeah? Yes, sir. Good man. As a Chelsea fan, how do you feel about the club playing in Singapore this summer? I think it's great. Um, Chelsea's never played there before. I wish I could be there in July, but I'll be in, in Budapest swimming at uh, World Championships. But I think it'd be great. There are a lot of Chelsea fans in Singapore. I think it'll boost the club status in Asia. And I think you all will have a lot of fun. Singapore is beautiful. Yeah. We will see, but I'm sure yes. <laughs> Who is your favorite Chelsea player? Don't say me, because I'm just saying <laughs> say another one. I say Eden or John Terry, tied. Legend, tied but, yeah. the legend. You have to say this. I, I have to. <laughs> Normal. Oh, okay, thank you. And uh, good luck for the rest. And uh, <laughs> come on, come on Singapore. <laughs> Moving on to the Youth Cup now, Chelsea's sixth straight final, going for a fourth straight win and going for three straight wins in the final over Manchester City. Jace, the first leg up at the Mini Had on Tuesday night. Chelsea in front here. Yeah. This boy Callum hudson Adoy was only 16 in November. He was the best player on the field. Great presence of mind to tee up Ugbo for the Yeah, I mean, you're thinking there, 
once that once he had his first shot save, we're thinking, can I score from there? But it's brilliant. Great run, not the greatest defending there, but from here you think, should I score? No, he's out of touch, laid it back. And once you take the lead, you want to try and hold on to it, of course you do, but um, Unfortunately for us, they got themselves back into it in the second half. They did. Phil Foden here unusually got the freedom of the box. Chelsea defended far better, actually, in that second half. Jody was pleased with it, other than those few seconds there. But that goal from Foden there, the 201st goal that Chelsea and City have scored between them at youth team level this season, absolutely racking it up and closing on 50 in their respective cup runs. Ridiculous going into that second leg. But going into the first leg, we sat down with the top scorer, E.K. Agbo, and the skipper, Mason Mount, for a bit of a preview. As a team, I think the Leicester game st stands out for me because um, it was a very hard game. But we kept going, we knew we, we would get that one chance if we kept playing. We got a decent looking ball and the header is in! I think as a team we did well to keep going, to keep pushing them even though they were defending well throughout the game. I think we were going nervous into the game, obviously, away from home. I think we did well as a team to get the two goals away from home and go into the second one. I think in this game we needed to get a goal early on as it was only 2 1. Yeah, yeah. Switched in by Reese James for Ike Ogbo! Perfect start! Took a weight off our shoulders and obviously Jared did well to save the penalty in the key moment of the game. Yeah, that was a massive part in the game, massive big moment. Jared Thompson saves it! Fantastic start! I think we're very confident going in. Um, obviously, last season we know that they're a good side. Um, I think there's six six players from both sides that played in in the final last season. We always want to win it, but to add to the team's history, I think it's good for us. So second leg at Stamford Bridge Wednesday night here. Kick off 7:45. Five quid if you want to come along. Three pound for concessions. If you can't come live with us on Chelsea TV, make sure you watch it. History in the making here with this incredible Chelsea Academy. Now, it's time for... Game of Loans! Did you know there has been at least one Chelsea Loney scoring a goal in every week of this season so far? Absolutely incredible. I know there's a lot of them out there, but even so, it's impressive. And the latest one is the greatest one. Another Tammy Whammy. Tammy Whammies! Uh, this is... The presence of mind in this goal, because if you look at the bounce, he gets above, in front of the ball, the bounce doesn't kick on the way he wants, the goalkeeper's closing him down, there, the bounce isn't kind, but that's the great presence of mind to do that. I mean, that's, if I tell you what, if, if Messi scores that, or Ronaldo scores that, or we see Harry Kane, or, or Suarez, or someone of that ill can cost, we'd be waxing lyrical about it, honestly we would, but... We're acting lyrical about it. Anyway. We are, we are, but don't underestimate what that young man has done. 25 for the season in all competitions, 22 in the league, as Jason says, in a struggling team. That is impressive. Uh, we'll see you next week for more. Game of Loans! OK, last but very much not least, Tottenham. Fancy it? We need to bring our A game to this to this particular game because Spurs at the moment are the best side currently. Let's not get away from that. They they are scoring plenty of goals. One thing I will say is that the games they won of late, I expected them to win. I think we all did. The way that they are winning them though is quite emphatic. They're scoring goals all over the pitch. The one thing that I think we we can really go into this game with confidence is that. We are big game players. This is a big game club. And going into semi-finals at Wembley and finals is the, we we generally deliver. Mm. And if you look at Spurs' record at Wembley this season, I know they've they've um, they've done well in the league. But look at their record in the Champions League and the Europa League. I wonder if this could be a little bit uh, something in the back of their mind, maybe a hangover of what's happened. And if we can start brightly and put doubt in their mind, then I fancy us. But we have got to make sure we bring the performances that we have done going in to the last maybe five or six weeks ago. Not so much the one against Manchester United, but it's not, I will always have us to win. But we have got to be at our very, very best because this Spurs side right now, they're a good team, but so are we. That includes Diego Costa, who's on his longest ever Premier League drought, but he scored against Tottenham at Wembley before. And here's the subject of our bet this week with our betting partner, William Hill. Diego to score either the first or the last goal in the game was 12 to 5, now 11 to 4. 
worth a few quid because he's not going to go much longer without a goal, is he? Now, we uh, like to show you a little bit from the archives. 5-1 was special, everyone remembers that in 2012, but rather than showing you all the standard goals and drug, but doing Gallus and all that, we thought we'd uh, have a little revisit of this ridiculous goal, Jason. Juan Mata, how has this one ever got given? I don't know, we, we never will know. This is where goal line technology has been brought in. These things can happen. Um, fortunately, that won't happen uh, for either side at the weekend, and let's make sure that the, uh, if there is a mistake, it doesn't come from us. That was for 2-0, building up to a 5-1. We'll take any kind of victory uh, against Tottenham, that's for sure, this time around. Do you know, it will be Roman Abramovich's 800th game as Chelsea owner. I think we need to celebrate that in style. Chelsea versus Tottenham, bring it on.